In this video, we review the three types of Azure AD device identities, Azure AD Registered, Azure AD Joined, and Hybrid Azure AD Joined. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and this is Seraltos. In this video, we look at the three different device identities used in Azure AD. A device can be registered, joined, or hybrid joined to Azure AD. Coming up, we'll review each option. Before that, please like, subscribe, and share with a friend. Leave a comment below letting me know your thoughts. Check out my hybrid identity course on udemy.com for more information on Azure AD identities. The link is below. And thank you channel members, your support is appreciated. Back to it, let's start with what a device identity is. To manage devices in Azure, the device needs an identity. Just like users and groups, computers that connect to Azure AD have an identity. But unlike users and groups, we as administrators don't always get to select the devices users use to access Azure AD services. I'm talking about Exchange Online, SharePoint Online, and other Microsoft 365 services. There are three types of identities in Azure AD. They are Azure AD Registered, Azure AD Joined, and Hybrid Azure AD Joined. Let's review the first example, Azure AD Registered. Many organizations leverage a bring your own device policy. This could be a computer or mobile device. We don't have much control over these devices because they're not owned by the organization. However, they are used to access company data. When a user logs in with a personal device, a new Azure AD registered identity for that device is added to Azure AD. With these devices, no organizational ID and Azure AD account, for example, is required for the user to sign in. The local device account is used. These devices could be a Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer, an iOS or Android device, or a Mac or Linux device. We can limit access to resources in the organization based on the identity type with conditional access policies. We can further secure these devices with a mobile device management tool, such as Intune. For example, we can use Intune to enforce policies on the device before the user can access company resources. The key to remember, Azure AD registered identities are for personal devices in a bring your own device configuration. The next type of identity is Azure AD joined devices. Azure AD joined devices are under organizational management and typically, but not always, owned by the organization. An Azure AD user account is used to access Azure AD joined devices and access company resources. These devices can be managed with an MDM tool like Intune or co-managed with Microsoft Configuration Manager. Using these tools, we can use organizational policies that enforce configurations such as encrypting storage, complex password, or add company software. Azure AD joined computers don't need Windows Active Directory for management or connectivity to an on-premises network. That makes Azure AD joined a good option for organizations that don't use Windows AD or where users don't have access to a private company network. But the device still needs to be managed by the organization. The key to these devices is they're company owned or at least under company management and users sign in with an Azure AD account. Single sign on to Azure AD services will work with Azure AD joined devices and they don't need access to a private company network. That brings us to hybrid Azure AD join. This is for situations where Windows AD is in use and the devices are Windows AD joined. Azure AD Connect Sync creates hybrid Azure AD identities by synchronizing device identities from Windows AD to Azure AD. Hybrid identities only work when our devices are Windows AD joined and we use Azure AD Connect Sync. Users sign into the device with a Windows AD identity and we can manage the device with existing Windows AD tools, such as group policies, or we can leverage Configuration Manager or co-manage with Intune. The computers need to be connected to the private Windows AD network occasionally, either attached locally to a private network or by VPN. Because they have an identity in Azure AD, devices can be included in conditional access policy. Single sign-ons will work with these devices also. Hybrid Azure AD Join is a good option for organizations that need to use Windows AD, but also want to take advantage of Azure AD, or organizations that are migrating to cloud only. The downside is that there are two environments to manage, Windows AD and Azure AD. The takeaway is that hybrid Azure AD Join requires Azure AD Connect Sync to synchronize Windows AD devices to Azure AD. With it, we get to continue to use on-premises configuration tools such as group policies and tools like Configuration Manager. We also get to use Azure AD tools 
like adding the devices to a conditional access policy. There we have it, the three different options for Azure AD device identities. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.